In today's video, I'm gonna show you how to retrieve the post ID from Dynamic Creative Ads so that you can take the best performer and move it somewhere else in your ad account whilst retaining all of that social proof in terms of engagement you've built up in the ad, but more importantly, retaining the actual ad learnings, that machine learning data that's been built up with the ad over time so that when you move it to a different ad set or a different campaign, you still get the performance from the ad because it's it's been running for a long time and built up those learnings, right? Now, a lot of people are gonna say this is not possible, but it's just that they don't know how you do it. And honestly, they're not really to blame. Meta do not make it easy to understand. They don't publicize it very well. And in fact, this is probably the third video I've made on this subject because they keep changing how you do it. But what I'm gonna do today is I'm gonna show you how to do this for images, videos, and I'm gonna show you several ways for each, the long way and the shortcuts. The long way hasn't really changed, but the shortcuts seem to always change. So at least you've got every way of doing it in this video. If it changes, there's gonna be some way of doing it. So we'll start off with the long way because that's the consistent way. And we'll do images and videos, and then I'll show you the shortcuts. So here we are on Ads Manager, and we're gonna go and open up an ad first of all. So here's two dynamic creative ads. This bottom one here is videos, and this top one is images. We're gonna do images first because it's the most straightforward. So click on your ad, click on, uh, not that, sorry. Click on preview, come down to share, and come to Facebook post with comments. And you're gonna be presented with all the different variations of your dynamic creative ad. So what ads has it created from the different creative part, the different copy, the different headlines, the different call to actions that you've given it. Now, one thing to keep in mind, the ads are only going to appear here once they have some engagement on them. So either likes or comments, and they're gonna be in order of the most engagement. So I've got other videos showing you how you determine what ads are the best ads. You know, that's not what this video is about. You can go and watch them. This is purely how do you actually retrieve the post IDs, okay? So let's say that this top one is the ad that I want to get and I want to move into another campaign on its own. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come down and click on the date that is underneath the ad name, right? It's gonna open up the ad, but now if I scroll down, it is just this one ad. I've isolated it. And you'll see up the top, there is a big strain of different characters, okay? What you're gonna do is you're gonna come up to this bit here after the equal sign, PF bid, right? So starting at PF bid, select that and come all the way along. Oh no, what's going on? Yeah, uh, let me show you that again because it's just selected too much. Start at PF bid, come all the way along up to here. So all the characters up to the first and sign. So you don't want to select the and ID or anything after it. You just want to select this PF bid all the way up to just before that and sign. Hit Control C or Command C for copy. And then you're going to come in here, right? Now watch this. So we've come into a, a, a new blank ad. And let's go to what we're doing here. This is not a blank ad. Yeah. Let's come do to use existing post. Enter the post ID, let's paste that long strain of characters, hit submit. There you go, that is the image ad. We're through that, all the social engagement, there's the same ad. That's us taking it from a dynamic creative and that is now a single ad. And what you can do is copy this here. This is the actual post ID in numerical format and you can put that in, in the ad name at the top. So you can easily copy that next time and put it somewhere else, right? So that's how you do images, the basic way. That doesn't hasn't changed for a while now. But how do you do videos? Videos are very problematic. So let's get into doing them now. So we're gonna go into the video, hit preview again, share, Facebook post with comments, right? So exactly the same thing. You've got your different combinations and they're gonna be arranged by the actual social proof they've had in them. And you're gonna come in again and you're gonna click on the date. But now what you're gonna see is this has been opened in video player and that long strain of characters, PF bid, is nowhere to be seen. So 
how do you actually get the add ID? And it is not this this thing here or this thing. If you copy either of those and try and paste them in, they're not going to work. So what you have to do is you have to come into this one here, the second one. So after videos, video slash, you're going to come and copy that. Okay, bear in mind this is the long way of doing it. I'll show you the quick way next. Copy that. Come into Ads Manager. Come to the three horizontal lines on the left-hand side, All Tools. Scroll down to the bottom, Engage Customers, and click on Page Posts, right? And you're going to be opened up in this section here. So come and navigate to the correct account. On the left hand side, come down to add posts specifically. And this is gonna mess up, so I'm just gonna to move to a different one. We're having bugs today, typical meta. So yeah, this is the same place, add posts, sueño. So let's now paste it and watch this. It's now retrieved the actual ad. So that thing I've just pasted is the ad ID. So remember, we took that from this bit, videos. This thing here, that's the ad ID. This one here is the post ID. So we can now click on this and just copy that. So control C again, command C. Come into this thing that we had. Let's create a new ad. Just to show you this in a clean way. Okay, so yeah, let's select that. Use the existing post. Enter post ID, command V, control V. Boom, there you go, guys. There's that ad, there's a the social proof. If I can go back in wherever it was, there you go, same ad. Um, 3K views, I don't know where the comment, you can't see the comments in video player, but yeah, that is that same ad, right? So that is the long way of doing, of doing, doing both. The image way is actually quite quick, but now I'm going to show you the bonus way that you can do it because if they change it again, I don't think this way will change. Uh, it's more long-winded. So in both cases, in the image or the video case, what you can do, and just shout out, this was the courtesy of one of my viewers, Alexandre T. So shout out to him for this. So we select this. You can right-click. You can come down to view page source. So you could do that in images, you could do it in video, it doesn't really matter. So we're gonna do it on the example of the videos though, right? So the what you, what the way he said it is you can do this, control F, PF bid, and look, here is the PF bid long strain all the way up to the, the, to the and. So I can copy that and paste it in and it's gonna work. So let me just show you that one. Let's copy this all the way up to the and, but we don't need the and. I've included it, but I'll remove it. Let's come in, create a new one. Paste that in, remove the and. Yep, that's the full thing, submit. Look, there you go, there's it copied. And one other way I've found as well that's actually easier so we're still in this section. Rather than searching for the PF bid, you can do post underscore ID, okay? Look here, that is the post ID. So we can copy that, doesn't matter if it's an image doesn't or a video. Really simply, copy that, post ID. Let's do one last one, uh, create ad. Use existing post. Enter post ID, submit, boom. Okay, there you have it. That's all the ways I know currently of retrieving your post ID. Hope the video is useful. If it has changed by the point you're watching this, drop me a comment. Maybe one of the old videos might be relevant. Um, or of course, if it, if it has completely changed, I will have to make a new one. So guys, thanks for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe. Go watch some of my other videos if you actually want to start learning how to run Facebook ads because, you know, I have full-on tutorials about strategy, not just stuff like this, technical stuff. 
um, of the platform. Okay, so thanks for watching. Until the next one, have a good week.